Well, hey friends, and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you seven easy ways that you can make your home cozy for fall. And I really do just love everything about this season. The sights, the scents, even the sounds. The crackle of a bonfire or the sound of crunching leaves underfoot really does just bring a smile to my face. And here where I live, the weather is finally starting to cool off a bit and I could not be more excited. So today I want to share with you some of my favorite ways to create a space that's cozy, that's welcoming, and that really just incorporates those feelings of autumn. And this is a topic that I am so excited to dive into. So with no further to do, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Let's get started with the first thing that you can do to cozy up your home and that's to bring the outdoors in. Incorporating bits and pieces of nature into my home is absolutely one of my favorite ways to decorate for any season. And especially in the autumn, there are so many incredible options available to us. I feel like the go-to option here is pumpkins and for good reason, there really is something a bit magical about the unique shape and colors that come in heirloom pumpkins. But I really encourage you not to stop there. Other options that I love are some beautiful autumnal florals that really mimic the colors of the leaves that we see outside. Mums can be a great option for this, but there really are so many varieties of flowers that come in beautiful rusts and golds and even dark greens. Then looking outside the box a bit more too, things like branches, cattails, or even pine cones can really be fun additions to your autumn decor. And what's so great about that too is it's a decor element that doesn't have to cost you a cent. Just spending a few hours scavenging either in your own backyard or at a local park can leave you with plenty of fun elements that you can use in your decor. At the end of the day, probably what I love the most about bringing the outdoors into our homes is that there's something very calming and grounding about spending time in nature. And so bringing the outdoors in and incorporating natural elements into our homes just helps us to bring that element, that atmosphere into our homes in a small way. Okay, but then moving on, and this is another big one, it's to use lighting to create a cozy environment. Lighting really has an ability to drastically transform an environment in a way that few other things can. So as the days are getting shorter and we're beginning to rely more and more on artificial sources of lighting to be able to function and to live life, this is really something that becomes all the more important. When it comes to lighting, there are really two big factors at play that really influence whether or not lighting is going to feel cold and sterile or warm and invited. And the first one has to do with where your lights are positioned. Typically, you're going to find that side lighting really does help to create that inviting and really warm, cozy feeling. So incorporating floor or table lamps can be perfect for that. And they really help to create a bit more of an intimate setting. But then I'd really encourage you to take this a step further by also making sure that you're using warm lights as well. So quick bit of color theory for you here. Color temperature is usually measured in Kelvin. And when it comes to the light bulbs that we use in our homes, it typically ranges from 20 2700 on the warm side to about 6500 Kelvin. And that's going to be more your daylight types of lights. Now I say all that to say that in a lot of houses, you'll often find lighting in the cool to neutral Kelvin range. But if you really want to create that feeling of warmth and coziness in your home, I'd really encourage you to consider swapping out your bulbs to light bulbs that are more on that warmer end of the scale. Light bulbs in that 2700 to 3000 Kelvin range are going to be more of that warm yellow type of light that really just draws in. So we actually use these in a number of places in our home, in our dining room, in many of our lamps. Actually, the one behind me is set to that right now. And what I love about using warm lighting is not only is it easier on the eyes, but I think there's also something about it that just reminds us instinctively of the flickering of a flame, whether that's from a fire or a candle. So there really is just something so cozy about it. So just think about the lighting in your own home and consider whether or not there might be a way that you can incorporate side or warm lighting just to cozy things up a bit. Before we continue, I want to take a moment to thank Amazon Smart Home for partnering with me on today's video. We've just been talking about the power of lighting and if you've ever struggled with how to creatively light a difficult space or you've wanted to inject some warmth and fun into a room that feels a little bit boring, then these Philips Hue light strips that integrate seamlessly with Alexa can be the perfect solution. They are such an easy way 
today to use lighting to transform your space. And so recently, when I was wanting to update our TV area and make it a bit more of a focal point, we decided to install a set of Philips Hue light strips beneath our TV stand. Not only were they super easy to set up and install, literally all we had to do was plug in the lights, open up the Philips Hue app, and the app automatically found the new set of lights. So we just added them, connected them to Alexa, and we were good to go. It all took less than five minutes. And all that was left was to peel off the stickers from the back of the strips and place them underneath the stand. And from start to finish, I think the entire process took less than 10 minutes for us to set up and install everything. So I love that, but we've also been able to seamlessly integrate the light strips with our existing routines, which if you're new to Alexa, are basically shortcuts that help you group a bunch of actions together to save you time. So when we want to watch a movie, all I need to say is, Alexa, it's movie time to our Echo Show. And just like that, all of the lights in our home will turn off except for a gentle warm glow coming from the light strip. So cozy. So it's great for that, but I also love how you can customize the color, light temperature, and more to suit your mood or the occasion. So the Philips Hue light strips really are the perfect addition to your TV entertainment experience or to give your home a more customized look and feel. They really are extremely versatile and can be used in so many ways. So if you want to check those out or any of the other products that I featured here, I'll leave the links to everything in the description box below. But now let's get back to the video. All right, but then tip number three is don't forget the scents. The scents are one of the biggest triggers of memories for us. And so this is really something that you can use to your advantage just to evoke those feelings of fall. And this is something that you can do in a number of ways, whether that's lighting scented candles, using an oil diffuser, or even baking fun festive treats in your own home, there's nothing like the scent of an apple pie in the oven that just makes a home feel incredibly huge. Did I say that right? I feel like no matter how many times I Google it, I always get it wrong. But whether you prefer warm scents like pumpkin pie or cinnamon spice that just remind you of baking delicious foods or ones that are more fresh and reminiscent of the outdoors, whether that's a campfire or I have this incredible birch and amber one, there really is something out there for everyone. And this is just one of those really easy easy, effortless things that you can do to create those cozy autumn vibes in your home. Okay, but the number four is to cue the fall foods. Making your home feel warm and inviting isn't just about the decor. In fact, a huge part of it is about the environment that you're creating. And having a selection of cozy food and beverages on hand really is such a fantastic way to create that environment. There really is just something so special about gathering with friends and family over food, and it has nothing to do with the decor of your home and entirely to do with who you're spending time with and what you're doing. So a few fun ideas for different foods and beverages that you can enjoy with loved ones or make with them too, or maybe you can bake a seasonal treat, whether you want to make a pumpkin pie. I made some pumpkin muffins the other day that were absolutely incredible. Maybe you want to make an apple crisp. There's so many amazing recipes out there. You can also have festive beverages as well, whether that's a warm apple cider or something that I've been loving recently is a pumpkin chai. And then there are a lot of really nourishing food options as well, whether that's something like a butternut squash soup or a sundae roast. And all of these ideas just really scratch the surface but I would just say have fun trying out some new recipes and incorporating the flavors of fall into your home. And then number five is to layer all the textures. When it comes to visually trying to create that warm and cozy vibe in your home, few things are going to do that more for you than layering a variety of textures. And so using textured throw pillows and blankets is a great place to start. I recently got this incredible chunky knit blanket and it just adds this incredibly cozy element to our bedroom. But then you can also take this to the next level too with woven or patterned rugs or good poofy duvet. And then just one other way you can do this, and this one isn't exactly fall specifically related, but recently we added curtains to our living and dining room and I absolutely love how they just really soften the light that comes in and they definitely add a bit more of a cozy element to our living space. In fact, I've been loving them so much that we're now planning on adding them everywhere else in our house too. Of course, that one's going to be a bit more of a longer term commitment. They're not quite as easy to swap out, but in my opinion, definitely worth it. It. 
And I don't think that coziness is, you know, confined just to the autumn season alone. And then next on our list is to go deeper. And this one really has to do with the color palette that you're using. Right now, it is the perfect time of year to lean into a bit of a darker, a bit of a moodier color palette. So think rust, amber, burgundy, bronze, gold, or even deep green. And there are so many different ways that you can incorporate these colors into your home. If you want to, you can go all out like we recently did. We actually just painted our guest bathroom this beautiful deep green and it looks incredible in there. Obviously, we will be keeping it that color year round, but there is something about that deep green that just screams of the fall. But if you're not quite wanting to fully commit to painting your walls, which I get it, that's a big commitment, there are a lot of ways that you can use that darker, that moodier color palette in more subtle ways too. I mentioned the idea before of using seasonal colors in your greenery and florals. You can also experiment with color in things like your throw pillows or blankets. Those are a bit easier to swap out. Something else that I love too was swapping out your art for the season. You can strategically pick artwork in your home that's going to coordinate with the colors of the season. And that actually perfectly ties into the final way that you can make your home cozy for fall, and that's to update your imagery. If you like to display pieces of art or photos in your home, try swapping out the imagery to kind of coordinate with the season. And if you fancy yourself a bit of a photographer, you can use pictures that you've taken yourself. Or if you're not quite feeling that adventurous, places like Etsy have some amazing affordable options that you can get the digital files for and then just get printed out locally. I really do just love that idea of updating the imagery in your home for the current season though. And it's something really easy that you can do that has a very dramatic visual impact. Plus what's great about swapping out your photos seasonally is that they don't take up a lot of space. You can just layer your different photos for each season behind each other and then swap them out as the seasons change. This is something that I've actually done in our entryway. I have a few different pieces of art that I've done over the years that I like to rotate out. And right now I'm displaying this watercolor of a cute autumn scene that I did last year. It's just one of those small things that I think really helps to personalize our space. But whether you want to get some fun autumnal pictures that you've taken over the years printed out, you want to find some on Etsy, or maybe you want to do what I've done and just create your own piece of art, whether you're painting, drawing, or sketching and display it in your own home. There's something about displaying the sights and scenes of autumn in our home that really does help to create that cozy vibe. All right, well, that's it. Those are seven ways that you can make your home cozy for fall. And I hope that this really helps to give you some ideas and inspiration on how you really can make the most of this season and incorporate all the beautiful elements of this time of year into your life and home. But now I'd love to know, what is one thing that you like to do to make your home cozy for fall? I'd love to hear about it, so be sure to let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.